Hello children. So welcome to AIMS India's online classes. Today, from physics subject, motion topic we are going to learn. Okay. So children, our uh, today's concept children. So velocity of the body on reaching the point of projection. So in this video, we are speaking about a body vertically projected upwards. A body which is vertically projected upwards means vertically thrown upwards. So for uh, throwing it up, we need some initial velocity u. We need some initial velocity u because uh, the body is going up but the gravity, gravitational pull will uh, pull it downwards. So that is why in the beginning if the velocity of uh, is 40 meter per second because of uh, gravity the velocity will decrease 30 meter per second, 20 meter per second, 10 meter per second, 0 meter per second, 0 meter per second means from the this is point of projection from where we have thrown the object this is point of projection from point of projection up to certain height it will travel and its velocity will become zero this height is called h max maximum height yesterday only we have calculated h max equal to u square by 2z formula h max equal to u square by 2z so up to certain height it will travel due to gravity or due to gra gravitational pull velocity continuously decreases finally it will become zero when the velocity becomes zero it can't rise up it can't go up from there it starts falling down to the ground falling down to the ground vertically downwards but in what way velocity is zero again it will become 10 20, 30, 40. Like that velocity will be increasing while coming downwards and finally it will hit the ground. Means in what path it went up, in the same path it will come down and hit the point of projection. Hit the point of projection. Now the question is, velocity of the body on reaching the point of projection how much? On reaching the same point again, after going up and coming down, after reaching the same point, what is the velocity that we have to calculate? So, let us assume children, let the body be projected vertically upwards with an initial velocity u. So, body reaches the point of projection. After how much time? While going up, time of ascent, while coming down, time of descent. This uh, total of time of ascent plus descent is called time of flight. So, means for a time of flight, means or it will reach the point of projection after the time of flight, after the time of flight, okay, after the time of flight, after the time of flight t, after the time of flight t. after the time, time of flight t. So, we know that v equal to u plus a t. We know this formula. v equal to u plus a t. This formula already we know. Okay. So, from this, so what we will do? Because the body is going up, gravity is uh, acting downwards. They are opposite. So, gravity is taken as negative because they are opposite. opposite. In the place of time, because after time of flight, it is reaching the point of projection. Because after the time of flight, time of ascent plus time of descent equals to time of flight. After time of flight, it is reaching the ground. So that's why time, we will take time of ascent, flight, tu by z. So velocity, we have to find striking velocity. With what velocity it will strike the point of projection. So, V striking we will keep. So, in the place of uh, 
v equal to u plus a t v equal to u plus a t in the place of v we are keeping v striking in the place of u we are keeping u in the place of a minus z in the place of small t we are keeping capital t which means time of flight so v striking u as it is z as it is in the place of time of flight we can substitute formula to u by z we can substitute z z gets cancelled u minus 2 u u minus 2 u means minus u so v striking is equal to minus u means with what velocity suppose if we uh, projected the body with 40 meter per second upwards it will reach the body with same velocity but downwards beginning velocity direction is upwards which is taken as positive final velocity coming down velocity or hitting velocity is downwards so that's why we will take it as negative its value is minus 40 meter per second so it means that with what velocity we project the body with same velocity it will hit the ground but in opposite direction but in opposite direction okay gentlemen so next so here so at any point at any point at uh, this point while going up at this point this point this point or this point at any point if you compare here the velocity is 9.8 meter per second while going up while coming down minus 9.8 means at the same point they will be having same velocities but in opposite direction so here 19.6 here minus 19.6 here 29.4 if it comes here it will become minus 29.4 So here final 0 but because for 0 there will be no plus or minus. So that is why here also 0. Next slide. So velocity at a given height means we, are, we have projected the body. It is going to somewhere maximum height we know h max. h max equal to u square by 2z u square by 2z but we want to find height at certain point at this point how much r at this point how much if we have to find the time at a certain height at a certain point then what is the procedure position let a body be projected <coughs> vertically upwards with an initial velocity u the body reaches height Suppose height h after certain time t means we have to assume it reaches certain height h after certain time t. We know one formula v square plus u square equal to 2 s. Here v final velocity capital V u initial velocity small u because the body is going up that is why acceleration is minus z displacement let it be certain height h. So, in the place of V, we will keep V, U, we will keep A, U, in the place of A, we will keep minus Z, yes, we will keep H, it will become V square plus V square equal to U square minus 2GH. This uh, square will come the same, root of U square minus 2GH, root of U square minus 2GH. So, this is the formula for certain height means we, if you we want to find velocity at certain height we want to know that height we want to know the height at what height we need at what height we need velocity that height we need along with that with what velocity we are throwing it up that we need g value constant g value 9.8 or 10 it's constant that value if you know the three values we can find velocity at certain height Next one. <clears throat> so here we have to note some point here, children. So a body can have 
zero velocity and the non-zero acceleration means velocity equals to zero but at the same point acceleration is not equal to zero at an instant means at the same time so for example at the highest point in the vertically projected body at the highest point velocity is zero velocity vector is zero but acceleration because at highest point instead of going up it is changing its direction towards the downside at highest point velocity is becoming zero so that's why instead of going up it is turning downside means we can observe change in the direction of velocity which is called acceleration which is called acceleration so velocity is zero but still acceleration value is there that happens at one instant next so distance covered by the body projected vertically up in the first second of its upward journey is equal to the distance covered by it in the last second in the downward journey so here uh, um suppose this vertically projected body from 0 to 1 one second so the distance traveled by the body in the first second 2 seconds 3 seconds 2 seconds 3 seconds coming down 4 seconds 5 seconds 6 seconds 0 to 1 second is the first second 5 to 6 seconds gap is the last second the distance traveled by both the in both the time gaps is equal both the time gaps is equal okay and same way 1 to 2 what distance traveled in between 1 to 2 seconds between 4 to 5 seconds will be the same and the formula for this is s equal to u minus z by 2 uh this is the distance formula this is one second last second distance formula s equal to u minus z by 2 s equal to u minus z by 2 next one but here what first second upward journey last second downward journey that curve that point we have to keep in mind suppose if uh, if you take like last second in upward journey first second in downward journey they are also equal means here uh 0 1 2 3 4 this uh, 3 to 4 second is the last second in upward journey this uh, 4 to 5 seconds first one 4 to 5 second is it is the first second in downward journey this last second this first second they are also equal they are also equal but here the distance will be find uh, calculated by s equal to z by 2 by the formula s equal to z by 2 so if you remember these shortcuts you can solve the problems easily children so you have to keep all these points in note now so motion of a body thrown vertically up from top of a tower from top of a tower from the top of a tower so until now we are throwing it from the ground from the ground but now if you throw it from the top of a tower top of a tower so ab is the tower height here which is equal to small h from there we have thrown it up it went up to c this b to c height is capital h from c it is falling downwards up to d means this c to d is this capital h plus small h h plus h actually this is straight line children b to c this is b actually this is a a to b b to c same path c to d it's the same straight line children it's the same straight line going up coming back but for uh, showing the values we have drawn like a curve but it is not a curve it's a straight line path you have to assume it as a straight line path 
tower height will be small h body height above the tower will be capital h during downward journey total distance covered will be capital h small plus small h next one ab is the tower height a body is projected upwards with the initial velocity u from top b of the tower body travel upwards reaches point c starts falling down from there why it is falling down from c because the velocity is becoming zero while throwing from b we have velocity u but at c velocity is becoming zero finally the po the point uh, the body reaches point d in the horizontal plane which is uh, foot of the tower here a is uh, here a is nothing but and d is nothing but foot of the tower reaching d so direction of projection is upwards is positive opposite direction is taken negative upward values are taken positive downward values are taken negative so upward displacement of the body upward displacement of the body capital h because from here it went to c it's only capital h downward displacement of the body downward displacement total h plus h but upward positive plus h downward negative minus of h plus h minus of h plus h net displacement net displacement means both we have to add as they are vectors along with the sign we have to add plus h minus of h plus h both we have to add plus h minus h cancel minus h will come means net displacement means this part positive this part negative this part this part cancel only this part will remain but in downward direction minus h so if we add plus h minus h cancel only small minus h will remain total time total time means from b to d b to d let it be small t let it be small t so so displacement minus h acceleration finally it is falling downwards starting is upwards but finally falling downwards so minus z time of travel small t initial velocity u so we have the equation s equal to ut plus half a t square from this equation u ut half a t square means in the place of a we will keep z in the place of t we will keep t in the place of h we will keep minus h or minus will come this side or if we multiply on both sides with minus minus h will become plus h ut will become minus ut minus half g t square will become plus half g t square or ut we will write here you can write here h equal to half g t square minus ut so this is the value of h small h what is h here children h is nothing but height of the tower so if you are throwing from a tower so then what is the height of tower based on this uh, motion of the body you can identify the height of tower so height of tower height of tower we can calculate children so h equal to half g t square minus u t so means it is x square x means it is a quadratic equation where in the place of x we are having t it's a quadratic equation in time children it's a quadratic equation in time or we can write it as half g t square minus u t this h will come this side minus h equal to 0 or half g t square plus of minus u t plus of minus h equal to 0 where it is in the form of a x square plus 
dx plus c equals to 0 whose roots are whose x value are x value is here x means t x value is b square sorry minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a quadratic equation formula according to the according to the minus b means minus of minus u plus u plus r minus b square u square plus or 2 a c 2 a c now b square minus 2 a c now oh, sorry uh, sorry sir. b square minus 4 a c minus into one minute sir. formula minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4 a c by 2 a this is the formula for roots minus 4 a c minus 4 into a how much half z into c how much minus h if you multiply 2 gh will come by small g ok like this we can find the time so because here we are having plus or minus so if you keep plus one value will come if you keep minus one value will come one value will be positive one value will be negative so negative time will never be negative so, positive value will be our answer. While solving problems, we can use this uh, equation and there you will get the clarity children. Okay children, this is for time. This is for time. Okay children, that is all for today. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates. Thank you children. Have a good day.